partitions, right? You have average Joe, like Ron Paul, who's in there to do the right thing, okay? Or you have, I'm going to go with a um, Rick Perry, okay? Rick Perry, the governor of Texas right now, is completely sold out to the Bilderberg Group, completely sold out to the Mexican, Mexican drug cartel um, guy who is an absolute traitor to America, been our governor. Um, down here we call him the emperor of Texas, just so you know, okay? The emperor of Texas, because he's, he's going to hold the he's going to hold the post as long as he can, and he's going to sell out 8,500 miles. Guys, do you, under, do you hear what I just said? 8,500 miles. Mm. Now, now tell me, tell me real quickly, what state do you guys come from? Brian. Texas. Oh, uh, I mean, if you're talking to me, I'm from North Carolina. All right, and then you, boss. I'm from California. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, California being kind of a large state, but you understand that 8,500 miles is a pretty significant distance to be traversed within any country, especially a state, right? Mm-hmm. Rick Perry has sold out $8,500 in Texas highways to international governments and in, or international companies, mind you, at toll wow. roads. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. That's a lot. It, that's a lot of roadways, okay? The roadways that we travel on a daily basis – if I were to tell you directions to get from my house to anywhere on the other side of Dallas, I couldn't give you a road to travel that wasn't a tollway owned by an international company that, that Rick Perry sold those highway spaces to be tolled. Okay? So uh, just, just saying that. You have your average guy like you, me, Brian, who are trying to help the people, uh, Rick Perry who's trying to progress his own, his own political career, but then, guys, you got to understand we have somebody on the whole other side that knows going into it what they're getting into. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Are, and you have to understand when you look at Barack Obama's political campaign and you look at the presidential election and you look where he got his money, there's no doubt in my mind that he knew what he was getting into. There's no doubt in my mind that this guy knew what he was doing from day one. That he had, you know, a, a lot of people talk. You know, and kind of mention, and what was your name, buddy? I'm sorry, we got Brian on the phone, and we have... And my name is Scott. Scott, okay, we got Scott here. You know, I had this conversation with someone, all, you know, earlier this week, and they said the same thing, basically, Scott, as you just said. And um, did Barack Obama know beforehand what he was getting himself into? Well, I don't think it took that walk down the corridor with George Bush for him to have that secret president-to-president talk before he understood what he was getting himself into. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? The truth because is we'll never – and you know what? We won't ever really know. You know, what, what I'd like to do, because we only have got a couple minutes left, and I'm just saying it's an hour's show, and I've got a, yeah. a call, another call I've got to make. So I just sure. – uh, I think you've done a great job, and I really respect you very much, Max, for your wisdom, and, and um, I look forward to checking out your blog. And I'd just like to conclude with a couple of thoughts, because a lot of what we're talking about, the two pieces – there are actions we can take to make a difference. Sure. And then there's speculation. And I, I just want to always encourage people that the best way to really experience taking our power back is by specific actions. And learning to differentiate between speculation, which is kind of fun. It's fun to speculate what did, what did Obama know, what did he know. But I also, what are the real actions that we can take to make a real difference in our world? And... I just want to encourage everybody to just remember to, to keep an, a mind about the two things, you know, um, because as patriots, which clearly both of you are, and I imagine most people listening are, we do have, there are things that are out of our control, but there are things that we still have control over. And sure. um, so just to, to kind of have an awareness about that is what I'd like to conclude with. And just uh, before I hang up, the last thing I also want to say is just to, have everybody, every day, do something to make the world a better place. Even if it's just your own local community, your own local family, be kind, um, be generous, support someone close by who needs more help. Because we can get so lost in the, the horrors of what's truly kind of above and beyond our knowing. That, sure. But we can always do something to make our community better. We can always do something to improve the quality of our family, um, to always be of service to the people around us. 
genuine service. Um, and we can always do something to be of service to Mother Earth. So I just want to kind of close with, with that as my closing thought. I want to thank you, Brian, for inviting me to be on your show. Uh, Max, is really right. interesting to meet you. You're a great guy, and I, I look forward to checking out your blog. Um, Likewise, Don. It's been a pleasure. Real quick. Um, um, so anyways, um, thank you for all what you, both of you have said. Anyways, I, I agree, and, I, and something to add real quick, that I think that people need to do their own research if they have the time, like even if they've got just 30 minutes, just, you know, get on the computer, do their own research, or go to the library and start researching about the truth. And then once you know the truth, take action. Absolutely. All right, so we've only got about two minutes left before I play the ending audio. All right, so All right, thank you, Scott. Fantastic. And thank you. Uh, I, I never caught your name. Well, what, what's your first name? Max. Yeah, thank you, Max, and thank you, Scott, for, for the interesting discussion. Absolutely, and, and if I could, one more time, just want to plug, that, uh, plug my blog, if I could, please. It's uh, truthmax.blogspot.com. That's T-R-U-T-H, truthmax, M-A-X, dot blogspot.com. And I cover everything from hidden archaeology, even here locally, uh, here in Dallas, Texas, to politics, financial system, monetary system, uh, geopolitics, occult within politics, uh, from Bohemian growth to Luciferianism, uh, Jesuit rituals, so on and so forth. Everything from start to finish from David Icke to Alex Jones to Steve Quayle to George Norrie, UFOs, aliens, um, you know, Bible scholarship. I've interviews with all types of people from uh, pharmacists, doctors, um, all types of things that I'm working on right now. So just want to let everybody know I'm covering it from start to finish. And uh, I just really appreciate Brian Scott, what you guys do, and I'm um, just looking to, to, to be a part of this big movement here. All right, so time's almost about out. So thank you for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Brian. All right. So this audio will be put as a podcast. I will put it on YouTube. I will put it on my website. And... Um, now we are going to play the end audio. All right. Good night. Good night. All right. It's taking a little while. All right. It should play now. Hi. Do you want to read free ebooks regarding free energy, hunting, survival, and more? Then please check out freeebooks.uswgo.com and check out all of the nice free ebooks to help you educate yourself in times of major censorship and economical failures. So again, please check out freeebooks.uswgo.com. That's F R E E E B O O K S dot U S W G O dot com. Thanks for listening. All right, so the seconds is now going down. I'm trying to get the other audio to play. If it doesn't play, I'll just have to say it. All right, it will not play, so I will go ahead and say it myself. Anyways, if you want to volunteer to work on my site, bringing out truth, bringing out truth about the New World Order, just go to authors.uswgo.com. That's A-U-T-H-O-R-S dot U-S-W-G-O dot com. There you'll be able to, you know, sign up on a form to become an author or editor, and you'll be able to bring out your own articles or mirror ones that you see that are interesting on the Internet. Thanks a lot, everybody. And thank you, listeners. It's people like you that keeps us going, and it is all people, all curious listeners and everybody who has an open mind. Thank you, and good night.